Hey everybody, so I have a special guest on my show. You probably know her, is Joyce. So what she's going to talk about is that she has this book project. She's um, making these books about different types. So can you tell us about it? Yeah, and Leon is actually a part of the INFP book. Mm -hmm. And so I'm writing a book on each of the 16 types with people of the 16 types. And so Leon is the representative INFP. And I'm going to be talking about how he's he works. So you're going to get an inside scoop on the behind the scenes, Leon. I've also been writing... You, you do know about my secrets too, Joyce. <laughs> exactly. This is basically the episode where I show you Leon's diary. And I <laughs> oh, no. No, no. <laughs> and so... Uh, I'm writing a book right now on ESTJs, ISTPs, ENFPs, and INFPs. And we're going to make it full circle eventually, but I feel like starting all 16 all at the same time would be sheer chaos. So that's there, that for right now. Hey guys, be sure to check out my other interview with Joyce on my other channel in which she talks about the path to wholeness, how you could find yourself when there's obstacles presented in your way in finding yourself. I have a link to it up above and also down below in the description box. Okay, so can you tell us, uh, why don't we start off with one of those books and what's your experience like uh, making it with the types? Exactly, let's do that. And so when it comes to working with Leon, he meows all the time. <laughs> Yes. And he has this spontaneity to him when he feels like busting out in a musical, he will sing. And I think yes. this really illustrates the introverted feeling and the extroverted intuition in an INFP. You have the randomest stuff happening. And sometimes we'll write in the book and it'll be nonsense, but it's beautiful nonsense. <laughs> yeah. So Leon mm -hmm. will write redrum, 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 but backwards is murder. And I'm like <laughs> writing all these puzzles. <laughs> And the INFPs are bantering on the pages. So they're just continuously having fun and talking with each other. Yes, getting... but we're very slow when it comes to the productivity. You've been exactly. working on, you've been working with us with for quite a while. Yeah, and there were four of you <laughs> too. <laughs> so because I had the belief that I was like, okay, there are two of you, and it feels like they're you guys are having fun, but what would happen if there were four of you? And then I'm like still not going at a at a fast it's pace. pretty i mean it might even be going slower in a, in the sense that there's more extroverted intuition so everything's going into like some sort of random tangent all the time that is exactly what happened <laughs> yes <laughs> and sometimes we'll go on a heart to heart tangent so you guys will touch on something and then you guys will go really deep in it and it'll be a, this bonding moment for all of you yes it's, it's and not, it, won't, it won't make it onto the page yet Exactly. <laughs> yeah. But we do feel closer to you guys. So mm -hmm. yeah. Um, yeah. When I work with INFPs, when you guys are experiencing an emotion, you don't want to let it go. You're like, hey, let's all sit with this and then understand it together. And then that's an extra 40 minutes, but it's beautiful because <laughs> it's love. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's a lot of fun working on it. It's like, uh, so Joyce says that she's likes to create community. So it's a small INFP community and we have a lot of fun uh yeah it's, there's like a there's a lot of randomness like we kind of get distracted a lot but just like working just working on the project um i felt like i've got to learn a lot about myself and got to connect with other INPs, get to know how they think about and feel about things exactly so we would go through each chapter and just discuss how is this like for you because these books they are meant to give you information about a type, but hopefully there's an element of personalness too, where if you are the type, it almost feels like you're stepping into the shoes of someone who's similar to you. And so it, it's an immersive embodied experience to read these books, hopefully at the end of this trip. Mm -hmm. And so when it comes to the ENFPs, there's also a very, a lot of tangents. I'm writing with one ENFP co-author, Carol Linden, and she likes to use tangents to actually find a way to, okay, we're going to actually write about this, but it's also ENFPs are very good at writing in the moment. So they're on the page and they can just write and they're like, this is a talent of mine. And then Carol will turn to me and she's like, are your other authors this good at writing in the moment and just spewing it onto the page? And I'm like, nope. <laughs> <laughs> so ENFPs are the quickest when thinking out loud and getting it on the page. Um, there's also there's just a bit of an expert thinking aspect to that. 
There is, yes. And they actually organize it as they go. So it was the ENFP who was like, okay, we're we're creating these things to make it more TE efficient going through the categories of the book. So I was like, oh, I'm seeing this extroverted thinking happening. And so when the, the types have really strong TE, they'll end up structuring the book. I had the ESTJs also doing that too. So they're like, okay, we have to structure this or else we can't think. Mm-hmm. So they, they had to tackle the structure first and foremost. Mm-hmm. For the ESTJs, they kept telling me, Joyce, you have to obligate us because we will want to do it because we'll, we're loyal and we're dutiful. So just tell us what to do and we will do it. So I was being told I should give orders to the ESTJs. They need direct <laughs> instruction. <laughs> mm-hmm. do, you, do you feel like ENFPs and INFPs work very differently? Do you think there, there might be some more similarity with the ESTJs or no? Yeah. Um, when it came to the ENFP book, I realized that I have to be careful with selecting the co-authors because they have if they have different beliefs in typology, they'll end up fighting with each other, especially if they're introverted feeling. Yeah. So well, I had, ENFPs are very opinionated. Exactly. So I had two ENFPs to begin with. One had different beliefs than the other one, and they actually got into an argument, which is why I had to separate them. <laughs> and I'm like, actually, it's better if I write with one of you because you guys want to rip each other's head off. Mm -hmm. right and so that was interesting that's why i'm like with introverted feeling you might need to share a value to work together because if Mm -hmm. you have opposite sides of the spectrum you Mm -hmm. guys will shoot at each other well it it didn't feel that way with the infp group right Mm. you INFPs are actually very soft and gentle to each other right exactly so there has to be i think there's an element of ENFPs also secretly being strong at expert feeling i think so makes them very opinionated You're right. Yes. Mm -hmm. Um, And so that was happening. And with the ENFP, they actually wanted to create a timeline. So they were creating a TE sense of urgency. They're like, we should actually finish it within this period of time. And I was like, wow, this is (laughs) good TE. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Whereas the INFPs were like, doo doo Maybe maybe like another millennia, we might get done. (laughs) Yes, but we'll have a good time while doing it. Exactly. And I'll hear all of Leon's songs because he will be playing his guitar and <laughs> captivating us. How, okay, so and what other type are you working with or types? ISTP2. And so with the ISTPs, it's the most quietest group of all. They're just mm-hmm. sitting there and they're like a silence. They're not talking to each other. With all the other types, we actually have a discussion, a very vibrant discussion. With the ISTPs, there's the stereotype that they're the most silent of all the types. And that was true when I was writing a book with them because they do not talk unless they really have to and they have a succinct point to offer. Otherwise, they go back to the silence. Hmm. And I'm like, wow, this is so (laughs) different. (laughs) And so they also don't ask, how are you, too? So I'm usually the one when I'm working with ISTPs, I'm like, how are you guys? And they're like, good. And then they don't turn it back on me. <laughs> and then they're like, we're back on the book. And, and then they're like, oops, it's our poor extroverted feeling. So. <laughs> um, and how, how is their writing style? Like, what do you notice in terms of their pattern of uh, writing? They have trouble generating a lot of words. And so they actually, they're too succinct or they have trouble coming up with a lot of, like, they don't come up with a lot of ideas to begin with that they have that polar extroverted intuition. And so they, they take a while to come up with a thought, but when they come up with it, it's that one thought and they're going to stick with it. Hmm. Whereas when I talk with INFPs or ENFPs, it's like, oh, we could do this. We could do this. We could do this. Mm -hmm. And then for most of the ideas, we actually don't write down. But for the ones that we do write down, we do flesh it out. Yes. <laughs> it's very different in that way. Hmm. I find the INFPs are more self-doubting. So when I work with you guys, you wonder, is my writing good? Oh, mm-hmm. I, I wonder if what I wrote was bad. <laughs> and so I notice that that tentativeness that, that I don't have with other authors. Hmm. And so Paul might say, oh, what I wrote wasn't that good. He'll just preface it with a self self what do you call it? Detrimenting No, comment. self-deprecating. Yeah, he'll have a self-deprecating comment. And I'm like, it was great, Paul. And then we'll all applaud him. And he's like, <laughs> I guess it was. <laughs> yeah. And so I find the INFPs, 
they write magnificent stuff, but they doubt themselves the most. Mm. I'm like, interesting. <laughs> yeah. And then, um, was, and then it's ISTJs? Not ISTJs yet. I'm going to go there. There's, it's, we, we covered all the types here. Yes, I will. Yeah. Okay. These are the first four to begin with, and I'll let you know how the rest go too. Okay. All right. Is there anything else you would like to share about like your experience? Yeah. When it comes to my experience, I would say that with the ESTJs, they have very strong personalities too, because I find EJs in general do. And so it, it's interesting with introverted sensing, some ESTJs can actually be either really hardworking or really lazy. And you wouldn't expect laziness from an ESTJ, but they're like, Joyce, we have a hidden side. Some of us are really lazy. And I have ISTJs telling me this all the time too, where they actually want to be efficient so that they can just be lazy. I have noticed want, that. <laughs> they want that comfort. They want that homeostasis. And so you either have ones that are like work hard, play hard ESTJs, or you work hard so you can relax and be a potato ESTJs. Mm -hmm. and yeah that's i'm kind of curious if there's um there's a flip side with the infps too yeah i feel like y'all are writing the book for me because you guys care about me mm -hmm. i feel like if your fi was into it you could actually be super productive and super hardworking. but i feel like because it wasn't your initial fi project so there's not that fi spark for it then you it's more doty 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 <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so I find Leon, you're one of the INFPs who's find their FI, who's found their FI passion, and so you are an unstoppable force. Mm -hmm. So there is this element to you where you're you're in your ESTJ in the sense that you are creating a lot of stuff to put out into the world, and mm -hmm. it's beautiful. So thank you, subscribe, appreciate it. Yeah. Like this video, comment, and show Leon your love. <laughs> Okay. Uh, Joyce, thank you so much for being on this channel and sharing of experiences. This is pretty exciting. I look forward to the books that you put out. Um, so I have Joyce's info down below in the description box. Yeah. Thank you for having me on. 